Hey, buddy. You like the warm weather? Was it cold? Where's your brother? Where's Blue? There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to go to the shop. See y'all later. <laughs> I tried to leave him, but the dog jumped in. He is not. <laughs> he wants to go. Blue, you got to go, buddy. Go ahead. All right, let me get him out of the car. <laughs> he thinks he's going. All right, morning. Finally made it to the shop. Finally got Blue out of the car. He normally doesn't do that. He's a pretty well-behaved dog uh, for the month. You know, to be a puppy, but guy, he just wasn't having it this morning. He just wanted to go with us. But uh, let's jump right into it. Um, had a viewer or a subscriber, not sure which one it was, but uh, he wanted to do a walkthrough of this truck. So that's what this video is going to be about. So let's uh, still walk around on this uh, 2019 Mac Granite. All right, so if y'all watched the videos, y'all seen this truck. Um, we just bought this thing, I think a month ago or a month and a half. I can't remember. It hasn't been that long ago. But anyway, it's a 2019 Mac GR64 or something. Anyway, it's basically the Mac Granite. They redid their uh, numbering or branding, whatever, a few years back. But uh, we'll start at the front with it. It is, uh, it, you know, a lot of the Mac Granites, they come with that little factory bumper thing, and it works out nice. It's not like a lot of trucks with the aftermarket bumper where you have to fold them down. This one, and I'll show you here in a minute, when you flip the hood, the grill stays in place with the radiator, and it will go clear the bumper, and that'll make sense here in a minute. Um, it's got the two toe pins on the front, which are essential for us, and they're, you know, they're beefy toe pins. They're not those little insertable kind. Those things are real handy, especially when you get stuck in some deep mud. Highly recommend those. Um, we added the hood mirrors. A lot of people don't like those tripod mirrors. We swear by them. Um, visibility is very important, and those things are very sturdy. We've tried the single arm mirrors before. Like, well, like on this truck, I'll show you this real quick. That we cannot keep these things tight they move in fact one of them stuck a little piece of tape for the time being to hold this thing in they, they'll vibrate and come out and they're just uh, they're a cleaner look but they're just that's about all they are the cleaner look so anyway got those tripod hood mirrors we love them both sides this one not essential on the driver's side because you have the one up there on the mirror but nonetheless it's kind of like a uniform look so anyway so that's that um it comes factory with the fender flares. Um, it does have a 20,000 pound front axle. It's got the 425, 65, I think 22 and a half. Yeah, 22 and a half uh, tires, which if you have a heavy front end like that, you almost have to run that size tire because that's really the only size tire that is rated to handle that much weight versus a standard like 11R series. Like on this truck, I know we're doing that truck, but I keep going back to this truck. This truck has a 385 tire and it has the 18,000 pound front end. So really a 425 is too much of a tire for that truck. But uh, anyway, um, stepping, coming back. Um, I do like the new way trucks are going with their mirror brackets. These things are a lot more sturdy. They say, I don't know if they're breakaway mirrors like a car. So if you hit something, they'll fold in. We, we, we try not to hit stuff, um, but I believe that's the case with them. They are power mirrors and everything like that. Um, the downside to having these nicer mirror brackets are you're going to pay for it if you damage it, you know, versus you could go get a universal mirror bracket for like, I don't know, a hundred bucks. Now it's going to cost close to a thousand dollars probably to get that bracket replaced. So anyway, um, it's got the large fuel tank, which is nice that way if we're working out of town or whatever. Um, and we're not coming back to the shop every day. We can last for a while with fuel without having to stop at the truck stop. Um, it's got the uh, ox body or stampede or whatever that bed's called. Yes, yeah, ox body's brand. It's got that hard, oh, hard ox. That's the type of metal, whatever, 450 or whatever. But it is a demo style bed, which we love. And basically, the reason we go with this type of bed is it flexes so if you drop a big piece of concrete in there the bed will flex versus over here on this truck 
I call it an aggregate bed. I don't know what you call it, but it's got all the ribs in it. You can see this thing, it looks like it's been shot at with all the dents in it. It's where concrete hits it, the metal can't flex, so it'll just put a bunch of dents in it. Um, it just, I don't know, it just kind of, well, one, it's rough on the bed. You end up getting holes in the bed, but it starts looking kind of rough too. But anyway, so we got the demo bed. It's a, hmm, let's see, you know what? I, I keep saying it's a 16 foot, but to be honest with you, I think it's a 17 foot. Let's see. No, it's a 16 footer. Okay, so it is a 16 foot bed, uh, 60 inch sides. Uh, anything higher than that gets a little aggravating to load with smaller equipment. Um, so I like that size. Um, lift axle, we we run triaxles in South Carolina. They do recognize this axle versus like North Carolina. They don't recognize, they recognize tandems. They recognize quad axle where you'd have an, like another, you'd have two of these lift axles. South care uh but they don't recognize the single lift axle so if i run this truck in north carolina they only recognize these two axles so kind of the downside i'm real close to north carolina so if i run up there i can't run as much weight but it does have the single tire i'm a fan of duels right there because you get the full twenty thousand pound capacity on that axle i think with that tire i'm stuck at like fourteen thousand. so you got to really watch your weight on these back axles um, they're 24 and a half wheels. They're uh, 11 R open shoulder tires. It's got the, uh, when I say open shoulder, it's got this cut out. So if you get stuck in the mud, it kind of slings the mud out, which is great for what I do. But if you run it, if you do asphalt paving and stuff, you probably prefer a closed shoulder tire. If not, you're going to be ripping chunks of your tire out. Um, I hope this is the kind of video the guys, uh, the subscribers want. And I'm just, I know these videos would be kind of boring, but you know, I don't know. Anyway, um, moving to the back, uh, not much back here. It is a high lift gate and we'll fire the truck up here in a minute and I'll show y'all what that means. But um, we do have all of our, like I said in the previous video, all our trucks have the hitch set up. So I've got the 50 ton panel. This one does swivel. I'm on the fence about swivel hitches. I know why we have them, but I don't know that. I'm always a fan of them because our excavators would pour kind of top heavy on this thing. But it's got the big D rings, air connections. We don't run the glad hands. We run the quick connects. Um, I don't ever have them leak or have a problem with them, anything like that. Not sure if that's legal or not, um, but we prefer the quick connects. I don't know, glad hands may be a legal thing. Maybe I might get busted for it one day. I don't know, but I don't see why not. I left it's like a they come apart easy so the trailer disconnected i don't know but uh anyway here's the trailer if y'all watch that video it turned out real nice the sealer they put on looks real good i like that uh darker staining they've got this side pretty much a duplicate now one thing i will say about this i i haven't i don't know what they pulled with this thing maybe like a pup trailer at some point it's got a single pole connector too. Maybe y'all can put in the comments what that's for. We don't run anything like that. We run uh, double pole or double post plugs for like tarps for our dump trailers. And I'll show y'all real quick. Like this. See, now we run these. But the single pole, I, I have no idea. So if somebody knows, comment, educate us. But yeah, this side, same thing. Identical to the other side, tarp. It does have an asphalt tarp. I, well, I call it asphalt tarp. It's a solid tarp over the bed. I prefer mesh tarps because they don't get air underneath them and flop around. Can't stand that. Same thing on this side. We got the battery box, which I like the way this truck was spec. The air tanks are right here, easy to drain, easy to replace if something happened. The battery box is easily accessible and uh the hydraulic tank when you raise the bed and we'll do that here in a minute too it's easy to uh access inside the bed if something was going wrong but same thing on this side it's got a little uh like a little blind spot window or whatever right here which i like those because it helps even with the mirrors it is nice to see something right here like a moped or or if you're backing in a tight area but yeah good looking truck we like it 
and I'll pop the hood. Alright, so we got the hood popped. Um, has an MP8 motor. I think the biggest smack makes is the MP10. I want to say this one's like 450 horsepower or something like that, which, you know, local around here, it's plenty. Um, I mean, if you're running the roads all the time, you might would want more, but the way it's geared and everything on this truck, we're happy with it. But, they, you know, they make everything easy to get to on these motors. Everything's right here. Everything's easily visible. Your power steering, I'm not a fan of. It's, it's way up here. It's kind of awkward. You have to lean on the tire. They could have done better with that. I preferred it when they used to be down here, but, well, at least the Mac has always been, well, actually the other side, but um, it's not a big deal. And this is what I was talking about with the grill. You can see the, the, the grill stays up there with the radiator and the bumper, so it flips over it, which is nice. And this side of the motor, you know, your coolant, which is kind of awkward to get to. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's up there. I mean, I'm not, I'm not seven foot tall, but I'm also not short. And that's, you know, I can't even reach it. So you would have to turn your tire to get to it. So, but anyway, that's more of a serviceability side of it, but clean motor. It's a good motor too. I mean, fired right up those cold, cold mornings we've had. I'll shut the hood. Ah, it's got the hood lock on it. Never mind. We won't worry about that. We'll uh, we hop in here. The inside, I know uh, Pay, one of our drivers, he commented on the video, wanting to get it clean. He drives it and he's very particular. He does keep everything clean and neat. Uh, the floor is not his fault. We've been having to run these mats, which was donated to us by one of the drivers. He felt bad about getting the truck dirty, but we ordered some minimizer mats, which are like the truck version of WeatherTech's. It's been like two months and I've yet to get them, so I don't know what's going on with that. As far as the cab, Max got the thing called a smart wheel. Maybe other trucks have it too, but you know, it's got your Bluetooth on here and your radio and whatever. It's just more crap to go wrong, to be honest with you. But uh, I do like they're getting a little... Don't get me wrong, I like, I like old school trucks. I like having all the switches over here, but it, it is more simplified nowadays. Uh, it's got a regular switch for your lights like a car would have. Windshield wipers, things like that. Your Jake brake is over here. So you got one all the way down to, you got, it's a three stage brake basically. Um, push button automatic, the Allison, it's a six speed. Which for what we're doing, it's fine. I mean, if you're really pulling some heavy stuff, you'd probably want uh, maybe a different type of automatic. But for us, for a dump truck, it's great. Um, ah, he's got pecans in there. That last job we worked on had a pecan tree. Um, there's our tower. It's got everything. We have the uh, uh, bed vibrator, um, the uh, tailgate locking jaws, the PTO, the tarp, and then this is the high lift toggle switch. This controls your up and down of the bed, and this controls your up and down of your lift axle. You can adjust your pressure. I'm a fan of 45 PSI. For, we have 45 to 50. Um, normally get your axle weight pretty decent if you load the truck right. Some may agree or disagree. Um, but anyway, and I add these to the trucks for the guys. It's a foam mount. It's called... I don't get paid or endorsed by these guys, but it's called Tack Form. I would go check them out. I mean, I'm not sponsored by them at all, but these are some stout phone holders. Um, you won't be disappointed in them. Um, anyway, got the radio that came with it. Nice seats for the passenger too. Um, overall, just you know, Mac is actually a pretty decent tier. It's pretty comfortable. But let me uh, let me get this thing fired up. If I can find my key here. Always make sure it's in neutral. And I always let the truck do its cycle. I know a lot of people don't let the truck do its little cycle, but I, I recommend letting it do its thing. Now we would get out of the truck 
that's why it's filling up air because that alarm is obnoxious so let me get the hood shut when the alarm goes off i'll we'll hop back in here and we'll raise the bed and i'll show you guys how the high lift works if you're not familiar with it and uh and show you the tarp on it so uh, let's let the air build up real quick all right so <clears throat> I got the bed partially raised up. I have to be careful because it's got the lip on the tailgate. Well, <laughs> as you can see, I'm on the tongue of the trailer. But uh, so this is a high lift gate. Um, it will act as a normal dump truck gate where it just swings like this normal. But since we haul a lot of concrete and hard material and trash, it is nice to be able to open this thing all the way up and everything slides out nice and easy. Nice inside bed. Like I said, we've dropped some chunks of concrete already in here and that floor is still smooth as can be. The bulkhead up there that covers the cylinder uh, or protects the cylinder, it's got angle welded to it to kind of help from denting that up and potentially hitting the cylinder. Small little hydraulic tank, which is just all you need. And that, there's the bed vibrator. And it does work. That, that's, I don't know how strong they make those things, but that one's got to be one of the stronger ones out there. But yeah, that's that. Oh, let me show you all the tarp real quick. All right, so there's the tarp. And that's what I mean by an asphalt tarp. As you can see, it's solid. Well, it's of that hole right there. <laughs> but it's, it's solid, so it helps keep the heat in. So if you're hauling asphalt, your asphalt doesn't get too cold. I'm not a fan of those kind of tarps because I don't haul asphalt hardly ever. So I prefer the mesh ones because what'll happen is wind will get underneath those things and your tarp will start flapping. Yeah, you could put straps and I know there's ways around it. That's just more of a headache considering we don't need it. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. All right, well, I hope that answered it for uh, the subscriber or the viewer that asked for and then some of y'all that were curious in it. Hopefully that, uh, I don't know, it's hard to make those videos interesting without it sounding like just a boring I don't know. I don't know what you'll call it. But yeah, so uh, I enjoy doing that kind of video, but it is hard to keep it interesting. Um, I don't know if that's what the viewer was wanting, more of a spec thing or just an overall, you know, thing about dump trucks. Um, it is nice. I will say this, the automatic, that's the first automatic we've had. And uh, I've always been kind of anti-automatic. Uh, I've driven before and I've had a problem with them, but I just just didn't really want any but uh the driver situation is hard to find drivers that can drive a manual and drive it effectively that's the other problem we've noticed um now our low boy i'll probably run manuals on that thing until you can't get them anymore um i know people swear by them and say they're you know the automatic heavy hauls are great i've never driven one that heavy with an automatic so i don't know but uh anyway guys hope that answered uh well, not the question, but I hope that satisfied the viewer. That's what they were looking for. It's kind of a walkthrough. Hope I didn't bore you guys too much. Of course, if you made it this far, obviously not. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys, and I will catch you guys tomorrow.